in the book of Genesis chapter number 49, verse 2 going, he started from Reuben to the last one. He blessed them by pronouncing words to them and came to pass. And he said to Judah that the scepter will not depart from Judah and it came to pass on Jesus Christ. It was the prophecy and the blessings that their great grandfather set upon their life and it came to pass. You can speak to the supernatural and it will have response. You speak to the supernatural and it will respond to you by the power of words. Joshua one day spoke to the son and said, Son, be sound still till I win this battle. Time is far spent. I need the son to be sound still to win this battle and until I win this battle, until further notice, be sensible and you are not permitted to go and set before I win this battle. And the Bible said, the son heard his voice and the words and he sensible till he won the battle. That was very powerful. We have the power to speak to the supernatural for it to respond to our favor based on the power behind the words. Based on what is influencing the words that we are speaking. Is it from God or from the devil? Elijah said, according to my words, there will not be rain for three and a half years. And it was so. Why? Because he spoke to the supernatural through the powers of God and God heard it and hold it and it came to pass. He said to a widow and said, give me this flour to eat first before you prepare for yourself. And the widow said, this is the last one. Then he said, if I be a man of God, as you prepare a cake for me first, this flower, I speak my words upon it, that it will never finish, it will never dis, it will never disappear, it, 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 it will not be, come down. There will not be this depreciation upon the flower until this farming upon Israel is over. And the Bible said it came to pass. The more they use the flower, the more the flower increased. Wow! I pray for those watching me that in the name of Jesus Christ, may your finances never spread in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not dis but it will not come down. Depreciation will not affect you, your business, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your finances will not come down. No matter how much you spend for the kingdom, still your business will not come down, your connections will not come down, depreciation will not hit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Always the powers of works. Jesus spoke to the wind and they said, Be still, be calm, and it heard him. He spoke to the fig tree and said, No one will eat from you, die, and it was so. Then I come to the conclusion that even if man is able to speak like this and is having effect on issues, on circumstances, on our life, how much more the word of God, even the grace of God upon men that speak and it happens, it comes to pass, it happens as they said it, how much more the words that proceed from the mouth of God. The book of Isaiah says that the words that comes from the mouth of God, it is like rain that falls down. It does not return back to God empty and void, but it comes to fulfill what it was being sent for. It comes to fulfill the purpose why it was sent. I don't know the word of God concerning your life, but I am trusting God for your life and I am joining my faith to your faith that any word of God concerning your life, concerning your
your marriage, concerning your finances, your business, your ministry will surely come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. God said to Jeremiah, I am watching over my word to perform it. God is watching over his word upon your life to perform it. Go to God in prayer. Remind God of it. Pray and bring it to existence and your life will never be the same. The book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 it is about the story of creation. The Bible said then God said let there be light and there was light. Wow! The power of creation was in the power of God's word. There is much power in the word of God. When God speaks, there is manifestation. The Bible said, God said, let there be, and it was. Let there be. Three, verse 4, verse 5, verse 6, verse 7, verse 8. You hear, let there be, and it was. Let there be, and it was. Let there be, and it was. Anything that God said came to pass. Why? Because there is much power, there is much force in the word of God that when he speaks it, it comes to pass. May any word of God that has spoken over your life come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. For God is not a man that will lie nor speak something and withhold from it. No. When he speaks, it comes to pass. So if you want to do something, and if you want to create something, if you want to add something positive to your life, you need to speak and to come to pass. Speak. There is power in the ways that we speak. What is the word of God? What, what is it, the word of God? If you read the book of John, the gospel, According to John, there are no four Gospels. There is one Gospel, but according to four writers, and one of them is John. So, according to them, the Gospel according to John, chapter 1, verse number 1. Yes, and I read. In the beginning, was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Verse 3 I like most. All things were made through him. All things were made through the word of God. Verse 4 in him is life and life is the light of man. The Bible is saying something very important here. John chapter 1, verse number 3. That everything that we see, both physical and spiritual, both visible and invisible, were created by the Word of God, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Word of God being manifest. If you read John chapter 1, verse number 12, he said, The Word became flesh. And we beheld his glory as the glory of the only Son of God. That is Jesus. So the word of God is Jesus. So through Jesus, all things were made. Nothing was made that was made without Jesus Christ. So the things you see, the things you don't see, the things you can touch, the things you cannot touch, the things that is tangible and untangible, the physical and the spiritual, the heavens and the earth and everything thereof in that was being created, the Bible says God created by His Word, which is Jesus Christ. So why are you thinking that you can do much, you can succeed without Jesus Christ being in your life or the Savior of you? That is the center of my message. You can't do much without Christ. You can't succeed as a Christian without Jesus Christ. Because he is the author and the finisher of it all. The author and the finisher of our feet. 
through him, by him, that we have our being. You can succeed. And I don't mean prosperity, I mean succeed. Successful. You can have enough money, enough cars, estate house, what the world calls success, and still not succeed. Because having definition for success is different from actually definition for success. Actually definition of success is well lived. You have many cars, mansion, you have fame, you have it all, you are all in the cameras. But divine meaning of success is being able to run your race and finish your course, being able to run your way, the race, and finish the assignment that God gave you. So ask yourself, are you in line with God's assignment for your life? The work that you are doing, is it being ordained from God? Is it what God called you to do? Some people have ended up in the prophetic field while God called them as an evangelist. Yes, you can prophesy, but you are a freedom to the kingdom because you were called as an evangelist. If you do the evangelist, yes, you can have the prophetic in addition, but not diverting the race. It is like running a race. You can be at the first position, but if you change track, they dismiss you. So you need to, for you to succeed in life, for you to succeed as a Christian, for you to succeed in the thing that God has called you, you need Jesus Christ in the boat. You need Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your personal Savior. You need the Spirit of God to direct you day in and day out. The Bible said, those that are led by the Spirit of God, those are the children of God. And as God speaks and it comes to pass, you need to have that Spirit of God so that when you also speak, it will come to pass. As Elijah spoke and it came to pass. As Gideon spoke and it came to pass. As the prophet spoke and it came to pass. As Joshua said, the sun shall set and it was so. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse number 8. 5 to 8. God said to Joshua, that Joshua, for you to succeed and make it well in life, do not forget the word in the letter. Do not forget this words, the word of God. Read it, meditate it, apply it to your life. Walk in it day and night, meditate upon it, and you will succeed and you become prosperous. You can become prosperous, you can become successful without the word. Of God. The word of God has the power to transform life. It has the power to bring the sinner back to God. It has the power to transform the sinner to righteousness. It has the power to call the arm robber, the drug addict, the drunkard, the fornicator, all kinds of sin that you can name. It has the power to transform their life to be godly. That is the word of God. It penetrates through the soul. It has the power to transform the mind system of individual. Change the patterns of their thinking. Break down the strongholds of the thoughts that is taking your mind from God then to direct you back to the maker. That is the word of God. For your life to be successful, we need the word of God. The word of God has the power to heal. Psalm 107 verse 20, the Bible said, And he sent forth his word, and it healed thee. When God sent forth his word, it comes with the power of healing. So if you go to church, don't expect the pastor or the man of God only to come and lay his hand on you, but as he's preaching, soak into the word of God and you receive the healing. The word of God does not only heal, it transforms life. The word of God not only
only transforms life, but it also changes situations. Psalm 107, verse number 33 to 38, the Bible says the word of God comes and God is able to make the dry place as rivers. It makes the dry well spring forth waters again. God calls rivers in the desert place. He call rivers to the desert place. And he's also able to call the rivers to be dry as desert. He can do the two. So, if your life is so dry, if nothing is working for you, I challenge you to apply the word of God concerning your life in the scriptures. Apply the word of God to your life. Declare the word of God for your life. And God is able to bring freshness. God is able to bring reviving. God is able to bring water back to the life for you to revive again. If you believe in God, if your trust is in God, and you call upon the name of the Lord, He will come into the situation and you will save the situation, and your life will not be as before, and you will see the grace of God at work because the word of God, Jesus, is powerful and it transforms life. Isaiah 55 11, the word of God comes with power to transform your life. He sent forth his word, and his word does not go back to him empty and void, but it comes to fulfill whatever he calls it to be. For you to have the power of the word, for you to know God and to have the power of God's word to work for you, you must first of all believe. In the word of God. You must believe in Jesus Christ. John 1 14 says, As many that believe in Jesus Christ, to them he gave them the power, he gave them the right to become the sons of God. If you want to demonstrate this power, that when you speak and it happens, when you say, Let there be and it was, you need to face. Come to Christ because in Him we have our being. He's the creator of all things. He's the first one of all things. Without Him, nothing that you can do to succeed. So you need to first believe in Jesus Christ. Believe in His name. Confess Him as your Lord and your personal Savior. And if God comes and dwells and has His abode in you and is the Lord of you, then when you speak, it is not you speaking, but in the spirit of Jesus in you that is speaking. And you speak not from your own senses. You don't operate just by the five senses. You go beyond the five senses. So you see as heaven do, then you do. So God says, as we see God do, then we also do. So when you speak, it will come to pass. And your life will never be the same. Believe in God. Trust in God. Click your word to the word of God. Don't speak anyhow. Read your Bible day and day out. Bible says that we should not stop reading. We should not stop praying. We should continue to pray. We should continue to read the word of God. For there is much power in the word of God that transforms life. There is much power in the word of God that heals. There is much power in the word of God that brings the sinner back to God. There is much power in the word of God that transformed the life of people from nowhere to a place of prestige. If you say, I want to have this power of God, that means I will speak and things will happen as God spoke and things happen. You need God and you need God to come and stay in you and pray this prayer as I pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I accept that I'm a sinner. Forgive my sins and my iniquities. Wash me with the power of the blood. Write my name in the books of life and receive me. Give me the grace and the strength to follow you as Christ did. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray this prayer, you are a born again Christian. Visit 
in the Bible believing church where Bible sola scriptura, only the Bible, not Bible plus something, not Bible plus this, not Jesus plus something, only Bible, only Jesus is being practiced there. And study the word of God yourself, and Christ will lead you to all truth, and your life will never be the same. Remember, the program is God's word for today. You can watch it this and every Sunday, 2 o'clock to 2 o'clock, 2, 2 to 3 o'clock p.m., and your life will never be the same. I am your pastor, Richmond Ozu Safo. Till we meet next time, shalom, peace, bye-bye.